You can use Google Science Journal to measure acceleration using your phone's built-in accelerometer. Open an experiment, then swipe up on the gray toolbar and select the sensor icon. There are four different accelerometer icons, X, Y, Z, and Linear. You might have to scroll sideways to find them all. The accelerometer is a little more complicated than the other sensors in the app because acceleration is a vector, meaning it has both a magnitude and a direction. We'll explain more about what that means in a minute. For now, pick one and the app will display the acceleration reading in meters per second squared. You can record data by tapping the record button and take a single reading by tapping the snapshot button. The X, Y, and Z accelerometers measure acceleration along one axis relative to your phone's body. If you move the phone back and forth in the direction of that axis, you should see the acceleration reading change. However, the accelerometer is also affected by gravity, so if you tilt the phone, you will also see the reading change. This also means that the acceleration might not read zero, even if the phone isn't moving, depending on its orientation. This means the X, Y, and Z accelerometers can be used to measure the phone's straight line acceleration in a certain direction, or measure the phone's tilt about a certain axis, but you can't easily measure both at the same time. The linear accelerometer, the icon with two sideways arrows, measures the magnitude of the total acceleration on all three axes, without including gravity. That means it will be zero when the phone isn't moving. However, since it's a magnitude, it is never negative. Magnitude is like a length. If you flip a vector around, its length is still positive. That means you can use it to determine the absolute value of the phone's acceleration, but not the direction. Sound confusing? Don't worry. Click the technical note link at the end of this video for a more detailed explanation. You can also click the other link to learn more about Google's Science Journal app in general and see a list of fun experiments you can do with the app.